All right, we're gonna try a certified 0.8 ohms Rockford Fosgate Prime 1200. Don't try this at home because it's not rated to handle it. Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Today we're gonna look at the Prime Series R1200 from Rockford Fosgate, their budget series. This is the big dog of the budget series. The specs of this amp, yeah, it's got quite a nice uh, selection of specs here. It has a built-in crossover subsonic filter and includes a remote bass knob. Yes, we like that. Some of the higher end Rockfords do not even include the bass knob, uh, the Power Series, etc. but uh, this one does. So there you can see, get the amp out of the box. It's a nice size, it fits in the palm of your hand. It's about the size of a sheet of paper. And here's the remote base knob. We like having these uh, telephone style connections. And also the metal enclosed base knob with a power LED on it as well. The R1200 measures 11 inches or 280 millimeters long by 6.75 or 170 millimeters wide. And it's about two inches tall or 51 millimeters. On the left side of the bottom of the amp, you'll see the ground, remote, and B plus connections. Ground and positive are four gauge. They're also kind of angled, which is nice for installation. The speaker outputs, it has, has dual outputs for eight gauge, but you only need to hook up one or you can hook up both if you have a dual voice coil or two different subs. Then you have the connection for the remote punch level controller as well as input and pass-through RCAs. On the top of the amp, you'll see Prime and the model number. A little bit closer to the middle, the power and protect light. Punch EQ, minimum to maximum. The frequency for the crossover, 50 to 250 hertz. Infrasonic filter, 15 to 40 hertz. And also the gain, which goes from 1 to 11. <laughs> Notice it doesn't go to 10, it goes to 11. So make sure you stick around until after the dyno test, and I'll show a gut shot of the amp. Talk a little bit more about the internals. Here you can see we got the amp all wired up. Stinger 4 gauge, Stinger 8 gauge for the speaker terminals. And here are some of the specs of the amp. 400, 800, 1200 watts. And also we'll show the dynamic output. But next up we wanted to show some of the RTTI training from Rockford Fosgate where they talk about the Prime Series and what kind of people they're designed for. So check it out. First was the budget minded guy. Now this customer often has limited budget. They're not necessarily looking for an outlandish system, but they're trying to get the most bang for their buck, if you will. Trying to get the best amplifier, best speakers that they can for the money that they have to spend. The majority of the time, this customer is a prime candidate for our prime series of amplifiers. The prime series amplifier features cast aluminum heatsink, variable crossover, variable gain, and of course, our integrated PEQ control circuit. Prime Series amplifiers typically will produce the rated power plus 10 to 15 percent over. Oh yeah, rated power plus 10 to 15 percent. You know what we're getting ready to do. Fire up the dyno, D. All right, first up, four ohm certified, 40 hertz. Up to 1% THD, rated 400 watts. Oh yes, 473 watts at 14.42 volts. Current pull says 42.7 amps, 77% efficient. Very nice. Now let's move to two ohms and go certified. 1% THD, 40 hertz, rated 800 watts. We get 822, two ohms, 14.3. Again, nicely over the rated power, 83.4 current drone, 69% efficient. Next up, we'll try two ohms dynamic at 40 hertz. The amp is rated 899 watts in the manual. That's what it says it'll do at 14.4. And man, look at this, 891 and we weren't quite there. So man, they're spot on and we're spot on. Here's the current pull, 102.6. We didn't calculate it just because that's a inrush current mode. Now, one ohm test. It's what you guys want to see. According to the burst sheet, 1318 watts at one ohm. That's 14.4 volts. I think it's 100 hertz is what it says for CEA. 
we're going to try 40 hertz. And oh yes, 1381. I think maybe the guy working on it got that backwards. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. 119.5 amps of current drawn, 81.2% efficient. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now let's try the uncertified test, which takes us up to clipping at 40 hertz. And oh yeah, 1392. Way to go, Rockford Fosgate Prime at 14.11 volts, 120.2 amps, 82% efficient. This is more efficient than your investment in Bitcoin. So next up, dynamic power. Look at this, 1,532 watts at 14.2 volts. Now that's kicking from a budget series Rockford amp. Let's check out the current pull, 173.5. Again, that's an inrush mode, so we're not going to calculate the efficiency on that. So yeah, Rockford is kicking it with the Prime Series. All right, so you guys just saw the results because I just showed you all the tests, but I'm going to show you the ones I didn't show you as well. At 4 ohms, we got 473, 484, and 486 in the different modes. Again, rated 400 watts. 2 ohms, 822, 864, 891. Again, all nicely over the rated power and at one ohm 1381 1392 and 1532 rated 1200 watts good job all right so as i promised let's take the bottom plate off which is a little bit more difficult than most amps because you have to take out some extra screws there in the front uh, near the rcas and the speaker leads but we got it off there you can see check out the way the amp is laid out you can tell this amplifier was designed to fit this way because a lot of amps kind of looks like the components are just thrown in but the way this amp is designed you can see that it was engineered to work a certain way the way all the transistors across the back are clamped in they're nice and tight look at the 18 uh, rail caps here and there's five caps for the input filtering and a nice big transformer there but yeah I, the one, one thing you'll notice about rockford amps and some of the other ones is not cookie cutter this was specifically designed and engineered to fit inside this enclosure. And even the bottom plate is stamped with the Diamond R logo. I mean, come on. Gotta love it. All right, guys. Well, there you have the test of the R1200 Rockford Fosgate Big D Wiz. And I'm out of here. All right, we're going to try certified 0.8 ohms. Rockford Fosgate Prime 1200. Don't try this at home because it's not rated to handle it. You big duck. Fifteen hundred thirty watts. Certified fourteen point three. We pulled one twenty four point one amps of current. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Budget. Fosgate Prime for the win. All right, and another don't try this at home test. You big duck. Rockford Fosgate Prime 1200. This little budget amp from Rockford Fosgate. Tried at 0.8 ohms, 40 hertz, dynamic burst. Eighteen hundred and twenty-eight watts. Point eight, fourteen point four three. Inrush current says one eighty-two point nine amps. You have a question? Sure, I got one question for you. It's can you deal with that? Next, let's talk about the testing of the amplifiers. Now, Rockford tests every amplifier that comes off the production line. If you've ever opened up one of the amplifiers, you'll find a birth certificate in every one. It identifies the model, it identifies the testing standards, and it identifies the actual measured output power. These birth certificates are developed and measured utilizing a standard known as CEA 2006.